Okay, here we are with the ex bow and I think we're in Vallelunga, Italy. So, this is the uh, third time I attempt this race. Last race was very good, uh, but we just weren't able to quite maintain position because our attacks just didn't go quite as planned, but we didn't have any exit, so, you know, I tend to judge race more by whether I make mistakes than by how well I did in terms of positions, if that makes any sense. Okay, so we're gaining a lot here just because of the first lap battle. Okay, so, oh my goodness. This guy should not have attacked in this position. This is like a pure ghastly move right now. Uh, sorry, ghastly. Yeah, sorry. But, um, okay, we're in good position here. So, fifth position. This is looking good. I think we can already think of an attack uh, soon. As long as we maintain our composer around here, don't over accelerate and that's exactly what we do so that means that we've got the better exit compared to this guy and we're just gonna cut back in and try to maintain a good position here right alongside this guy and look at that piece of cake you know at the beginning I think that everybody is playing more conservatively so I'm able to attack aggressively because the tires are not warm yet so you know players don't want to slide on the tires but, um, as soon as the tires get warm, we lose our advantage in this area. So, make sure not to, uh, accelerate too quickly. Hey, it looks like we have it in the bag, like, pretty easy. We made it on the first lap, but, um, you know, this is because, strictly because, uh, we were able to restart the session, because obviously I wasn't in this position on first try. So... There we go. Looks like we're gonna be able to to gain uh, another couple of positions, I think, because um, the AI is a little bit weaker. I noticed in the hairpins, so you know the AI is stronger along certain sectors and weaker along others. Okay, they're breaking here because probably they want brake traction, but I know that I can almost go full throttle. I just like feather the throttle in the middle of the turn. Okay, hopefully it doesn't stop right in front of me. Oof. That was. Rather frightening. I was definitely ahead, but he aggressively moved in my way. So, you know, I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to take that. Take it like a man. And move on with my life. I'm gonna break right here. I think that's this, this piece of track is essential to get right under braking. And not over-accelerate. I just tend to, you know, it's, it's easy to want to accelerate too quickly. And uh, you get out of the curb and you take the less than ideal line. So back at the attack here, along the corner. Okay, this is, is he going to back out? Okay, he backs out. So this is good, this is good. This is a good position for me to be in. I like following the leader because he's gonna break at the right moments. I know he's going to be consistent. And that means that I can just follow him I don't know the track, you know, absolutely, but okay, no, we shouldn't have shifted to one, that's okay, it's a small mistake, I think, won't be too bad, we're gonna lose a tiny bit of time, but it won't be too serious, accelerating slowly, feathering the throttle, that looked just perfect, so I'm gonna let go of the throttle, get back on it, so we can accelerate a little bit more, good. I don't know if the leader, you know, it's it, possible the leader will just leave in front of us or we'll catch back up to him. It depends how I attack, because I suspect that he'll be weaker in some sectors uh, around the hairpins especially. The heavy braking zones, let's see where he breaks. Right there. Okay, so we caught back up to him a tiny bit, I think. Make sure that we turn just enough to maintain the apexes and keep on going. So this one is the before last indicator. I don't know if you see on the left side are the braking indicators to measure your distance. So here just make sure I don't accelerate too quickly. There we go. Late on the accelerator, that's good. Oh dear. Okay, so here's what I was saying about attacking too quickly. I don't want 
and, and this was fine, but I just don't want to put myself in a position where I'm in the less than ideal line while attacking, and then losing a whole bunch of time last minute. So he's going to try to defend, which is good for us, because that means we're going to gain time on him. So I'm going to try to switch a roo. And it worked! It worked! We're ahead of everyone. Now the only thing we need to do is not make a mistake. So... If we just about stay on track, uh, everything should be fine. We can break around here. We have it in back. Should, this is the moment where I should probably turn my mirrors on. I don't have my mirrors on. That's a setting we can change in here. I'll change it later. But, um... Leaders on final lap. Hey, I'm the leader. That means I'm, the, I'm on the final lap. So, because I know I'm in the lead, I'm just gonna play it safe, let go of the throttle completely through that sector there, and then kind of break slowly into the braking zone and let go of the brake. I did not go at the highest speed because I'm not looking for the optimal lap. I'm just looking for a safe lap to be prudent and carry this race home. I think we have plenty of time if we do things right to just stay the course. So, breaking zone starts right there. We do go around that rather slowly. See on the limit of what, what we can maintain, staying on traction, being right at the white line. Then back to this breaking zone here. Breaking a bit late. Getting on a very late apex there. At least we kind of hit the apex, so that's good. I'm happy with that. You know, this is a this is a safe lap, more or less. I'm not breaking in the extreme, not accelerating in the extreme, um, trying to maintain a good, reasonable line throughout. Not a perfect line, obviously. I'm not a perfect guy around this course. Like just right here, I kind of miss the apex a little bit, but you know, it's reasonable. It's reasonable. I just wanna not bin it. There. Are, Kind of overbraked. I need to watch out in that sector to not break too much. So I think this is the indicator here. Break there. Keep it solid around the corner. You know we're winning this. We've got this in the bag. So you know the second guy is behind us. No matter how much he tries to charge, he's not going to make it past us. And there we are. Session over. First place. Great job. Pat on the back. We've got it.